All right, so in this video, we're checking out the 85X Nebula Edition. And I'm not 100% sure what this is going to be called. The final name hasn't been told to me yet, but this is basically uh, Beta 85X with the Cadex uh, system, the Cadex Nebula Nano. And in this case here, it's got the Vista Air Unit, but the Vista Air Unit is stripped down or naked. And it's kind of hard to see, but the heat sinks have been removed. They left the blue thermal paste on there. Uh, you know, I'm not sure why, but yeah. Um, you can see there, the heat sinks have been removed to make this lighter. And you have a, a second or <laughs> third party antenna. Um, I'm not sure. This obviously this is not labeled Beta FPV on here, but I think this is their uh, Beta FPV brand. Um, I think the more recent ones are blue. You probably see that one in uh, some of the, I think the 95X V2 that I reviewed recently. I think that's what this one is. This one actually I've had even for longer than that one, uh, but they've had this one uh, kind of delayed. So this is an engineering sample and your, your sample may end up being somewhat different than this. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, I am told that this is coming out and it's going to have the trip down Vista along with the Nebula Nano and this lighter antenna. Uh, but the rest of the stuff here, the 1105 5000 kV motors and the 12 amp 4 in 1 ESC flight control board is the same as on other 85X models. This obviously has the XM Plus receiver in here, but of course this comes with a variety of receiver versions, Free Sky, Fly Sky, Crossfire, etc. So all those are available to you, but you know, in terms of the plastic uh, whoop frame and the 85X bracing, all that's the same. And the you know, obviously the canopy here is different for the Vista um, air unit plus the uh, Nebula Nano camera. So they are kind of reusing this canopy here. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be a little bit different or not, but uh, in terms of the flight characteristics, I'm thinking that's not going to change too much as long as the weight doesn't change too much because you still have the same motors and electronics and um, yeah, I don't think that they're going to be changing too much with the canopy. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to stick with the stripped down Vista or not. So it's possible they may go to a full size Vista, which will add 8 grams, I believe. Because if you remove all the heat sinks, uh, you lose about 8 grams. But in overall, it flew pretty good because um, of the uh, weight savings and this setup here. But here is what mine came out to weigh. It's uh, 70, 75.6 grams, and then I flew with the Allen 4S450. And together, flew with the battery. Yeah, flying weight's about 128.4 grams. So like I said, I've been flying this around for a while now. Um, I've been mainly just flying on the 4S 450. Uh, you can fly it on 3S. Uh, I did try it on a, or some different, like a, I think I was a, a 550 3S and a 653S. I also tried like a really heavy battery, like a 1300 3S. And I didn't like the tune on 3S on this setup here. I'm not sure why I couldn't quite get the tune dialed in. But on 4S it flew great. So if you get this battery and you fly on 4S with the out of the box pid tune, it flew fine. So for some strange reason, this didn't like 3S at all. It was way too just wonky. But 4S it flew right nice and predictable and it was nice and locked in on 4S. So if, I will, if you do get this, I recommend getting the 4S 450. Just fly like that. Uh, you can get longer flight times with a bigger battery, of course, but then I'm not sure how the pitch is going to do on a, on a heavier. If you go to, like, say, a 650 for us, eh, it might be okay. Eh, it's going to probably not like it, so I would recommend just sticking to a Forest for 50. And I was getting close to four minutes of flight time on that, so if you need a lot more, you're going to have to adjust the pitch tune to get more flight time with a heavier battery. Anyway, here's some flight footage for you. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.
All right, so just flying around on uh, 4S 450 default tune and rates. It's pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, it's got some oomph to it. Yeah, as expected, it has a little bit more, it feels like I have a more top end. You know, more top end than the uh, Alpha with the 1303s, but a little less control on the low end. This is totally what I expected. Still flying nice. Yeah. This is where you feel a little bit less controls in the turns like this. You're going to have to compensate with more throttle. Not a big deal. So it's just different. Still flying pretty nice. And if you're trying to do more like center whooping, um, the 13 or 3 motors are going to be better for that because you'll have more uh, control when you're going a little bit slower so you're not like kind of bobbing up and down so much. Oh, really good prop wash handling on this tune. A little bit of oscillation there. I bet the motors are going to be a little warm. I think this tune's right on the edge. Now you can hear right right there when it goes into its prop wash, a little bit of oscillation. The tune is right on the edge. It's fast though. Pretty fun to fly. Not bad. Fourteen and a half volts. A little over three minutes of flight time. So 1105 motors are going to have a shorter flight time than the 1303s. You guys are comparing this to the Alpha. If you're going to have a, this is going to be more for like racing style flying than whoop, Cinewhoop style flying. A lot more turns. Like if you want to set up a track or something like this, it's going to be kind of fun. Pretty good flight time though on the 4S450. Yeah, a little more prop wash there. Bad. So four and a half minutes, 14.3 volts. I'm gonna bring it on in. Let me know what you guys think.